We're gonna lie, not for me. I'm gonna notey time, notes things because I can't remember shit. Hey guys, hello team, my name is Monique. Welcome back to a double hype train for August and September. In case you didn't know, this book which is my channel and I will stop apologizing very soon about the fact that I am not putting up videos how I want to, even though this is my channel and no one is expecting me to put up videos at a certain time. At least I'm not assuming so, but yes. Okay, so in case you didn't know, this is Book Reviews, my channel, and I have for about a year and a half been making these videos that I call Hype Train, where I talk about new upcoming releases, um, especially queer and POC repped ones, and uh, I've been a bit bad in the last couple of months with actually getting these up even though i actually want to make them um so this is another double feature so we are talking about both august books and september books i have picked five books for each of these that i am incredibly excited for the september ones have obviously already come out as this is coming out in the beginning of september and then the upcoming september ones we cannot be excited about so you can buy some that are already out and you could be excited about the ones that are soon to be coming out so let's just jump straight into what i was excited about coming out in august so the first book on this list came out on the 1st of august and that is a lady who looks good when she is crying by dan ackerman dan ackerman being a queer non-binary author whom i believe have won awards as well and this one just sounds interesting i can't say that i'm enjoying this cover though not gonna lie not for me but i am interested by the premise and it is apparently a book about the friendship between an angel and a demon even though those two should not be friends they have been through a lot together including some possible stabbings and maybe a kiss that they don't talk about however they are also the ones that humans go to when they have a case that they can simply not solve and normally sunshine and his demon friend normally just figure these things out However, this time it may not be the case. So not crazy about this cover, but I am excited about this premise. The next book is one that I have so been looking forward to, and that is The Dead and the Dark by Courtney Gould. Came out on the 3rd of August, and this is a thriller horror novel, which seems to be my new jam. It's also sapphic, so I am here for it. And basically the setting is Snakebite, Oregon. I'm here for the weird town name. And basically things are happening. Teenagers are disappearing, they're showing up dead, and there are lots of secrets hidden around in this town. And in comes this very popular paranormal investigator group called Perispectors and they bring their daughter along. However, as they arrive, they start getting blamed for all of these deaths. And in on the scene comes Ashley, who is haunted by the ghost of her dead ex-boyfriend, who is one of the teenagers missing. And these two girls end up having to work together to try and figure out what exactly is happening here. And I am just, it just sounds so good and like just a little bit creepy, but mainly just sapphic and I want it. Next up, we have another book that came out on the 3rd of August, one that I have already read, and that is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This is another sub-genre of thriller horror novel where we are following a young woman who returns to her boarding school after the sudden and very horrific death of her best friend slash possible girlfriend and here she meets the riding prodigy who sort of brings her back into the magic of this boarding school that is based around this history of the boarding school being founded by witches especially the Dalloway Five who apparently died mysteriously very early on in the school history and things seem to be repeating itself it is a beautiful atmospheric read i absolutely adored it i gave it 4.5 stars i'm pretty sure if i read it again it'll be five it's a really weirdly like be, like creepily written story and you're unsure of what is real and what is not and i am just it is just top points and i want everyone to read it another book that came out on the 3rd of august was the wild ones by nafisa Assad, which is about a girl gang who are saving abused victims in the same way the daver abuse so i believe that there are trigger warnings for sexual assault and general abuse and basically in this book we are following especially one young girl who gets sold as a young child and when she runs away from this man her mother has sold her to she runs into a young boy who 
gives her a box of stars that basically allows her to access this specific dimension that has magic and so she sets out to help other girls like herself however i believe several years on they find out that this young boy who has saved this group of girls before is himself in trouble and they set out to save him and it just sounds absolutely incredible this cover is stunning and i'm just like i want it in my hands right now but i'm on a buying ban so i can't but i want it I, so badly and last but not least for the august releases we have bad witch burning by jessica lewis which came out on the 24th of august this is another magical realism ya where we are following a young black girl who can speak to ghosts and she is exploiting this basically by having people pay her money so that she can speak to their deceased uh, relatives however a ghost comes to her and tells her that she needs to stop doing this because it will burn everything she knows down to the ground but she has to make ends meet she has to keep her mother and herself alive and her mother's deadbeat boyfriend of the week and so when she accidentally brings someone back from the dead she finds another way to make money however the dark forces are sort of surrounding her and they're coming for her and she has to figure out whether it is worth being out of poverty to have everything around her burn including herself and i the cover stunner ready i want it black girl magic it's apparently really for fans of the chilling adventures of sabrina and i am here for that and now we are going in to the september releases so first up on the 7th of september comes out a clash of steel by cb lee which is a treasure island reimagining and basically we are following two young women who are out on this treasure hunt to find this pirate's like massive amount of gold and there's a hidden map there is ancient chinese mysteries and piracy which is apparently disappearing but these two girls find a hidden map in one of their father's necklaces and it's just it it sounds wonderful i've heard great reviews of it already and i am just here for the possible queerness going on queerness and all of the things I, I want it next coming out on the 14th of september is the lost girls by sonia hartlett hartlett hart not entirely sure and basically this is a queer vampiric reimagining of john tucker must die which if you don't know is like a cult classic about these girls who finds out that their boyfriends have been their boyfriend one boyfriend have been cheating on them and they together come together and are going to kill him and it's the same way with this except vampires and we are following our main character holly who is stuck being a 16 year old with crimped hair for the rest of her life because she fell in love with a vampire boy who then left her and then she finds out that there are other girls like her and they together set out to kill this young man before he can turn anyone else and this especially becomes apparent when she meets the new victim of their vampire boyfriend and sparks fly and i want it yes next we have another creepy thriller coming out on the 21st of september and that is to break a covenant by alison ames and basically we have another creepy town that is basically based around these uh, like this moon person which is like a mine where previously 16 people have died and their entire new town is based around the tourists that they can bring to this mine and we are following a group of girls two girls that are best friends and possibly more a young girl who can train crows which i am here for and another girl whose father is obsessed with the story of this mine and the murders that happened there and i it sounds creepy i'm not entirely sure what it's about other than the fact that we have this this girl gang trying to sort of figure out what is happening so because they cannot find the truth amongst the adults they set out to try and sort it out themselves so i'm here i'm mainly here for the girl who who train crows next we have a highly anticipated release coming out on the 28th of september and that is lights from uncommon stars by Raika yoka and this just it sounds 
like magic. It is only totally good omens meet a long way to a small angry planet. And if anyone knows, that is one of my favorite sci-fi books ever. And basically it is a Faustian bargain where we have a young woman who has sold her soul to the devil or basically sold the souls of seven other violent prodigies for her own success. And when she meets a young trans woman who has this wild new talent, she can see the end of her own bargain. However, she meets a young woman slash used to be star captain who is the mother of four who basically runs this uh, donut bakery and there may be feelings between them and then literally all that sold me on this whole summary other than you know the Faustian bargain was the fact that it says a family worth crossing the universe for might be found and it gives me goosebumps even reading it and i'm so excited about this book and i want it immediately and then last but not least i cannot talk about september releases without talking about this book the last graduate by naomi novik i was very lucky that del rey sent me an actual arc of this i actually read it in an e-arc of the monday and then this book arrived on the tuesday slash wednesday this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year I feel like I say that all the time. I have a lot of anticipated releases, okay? And basically, this is the second lesson in the Scholomance, following the adventure of Elle, who we meet in A Deadly Education, which was my favorite book of 2020. And basically, this book starts off with a bang, and it ends with a bang, and it hurts your heart. And the first book, A Deadly Education, is a magical realism book where we are stuck in this uh, magic school, but it is not like a cute little nice magic school. It's an evil magic school, and it is basically eating students. However, going to the school raises your like chances of survival from one in seven to one in four so everyone tries to get to this school even though the majority of people do not come back out and we are basically meeting elder who has an affinity for dark magic even though she does not actually want to do dark magic it's just what she's really good at so she's just desperately trying to be good and we also meet orion lake who is our resident hero he has been trying to save people throughout the entire year that he's been there and now he's accidentally saving l even though she does not want to be saved i love the first book i adore the second book this comes out on the 29th of september i hope you all are ready for your heart to break i'm gonna read it again when it comes out and i'm just i'm not prepared okay i'm not prepared for my own feelings there you have it that is the hype train for both august and september i will endeavor to do hype train properly for october we'll see if it happens if not then you know this is my channel and i do what i want to also isn't my new counting cute feeling things even though it's actually hot so i've had to have a window open so if you can hear the road that's just what's happening but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are having a lovely time if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button hit subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me you can also click the little bell which give you a notification when i put up a new video which i try to do regularly i hope you're doing well i hope you know that i'm proud of you and i will see you guys soon with another video bye